you live. Well, just clouds and rain that's trying to fall, but it's drying up on the way down. We call that Virga, and the green here is Virga on radar. But with time over the next several hours, scattering of some showers and storms will form here and then also back towards Illinois and everything has got to move eastward tonight right through tomorrow morning. And, and some of these scattered showers and storms may linger in the viewing area now it looks like into part of the afternoon. So let's just dig in and track it. Here we go. This is the marginal risk of severe weather viewing area wide from the Storm Prediction Center. It's a one out of five on the scale for an isolated severe storm or two for hail, mostly in that 6 to 10 a.m. time frame uh, early tomorrow morning. You can see is some of the scattered storms that come in 50s at 7 o'clock in the morning. So 50 to 56 should do it for lows area wide. And here it is kind of graphically. We're showing you a simulated radar reflectivity product. This shows you what the radar will likely look like in the morning based on a computer model. So here we are at 230. Again, a couple showers and storms kind of hugging our north. We'll see a few more develop with time. I think towards like five, six o'clock in the morning. Here we are towards 630, 730 and eight. Some scattered showers and storms around here and there. Again, the marginal risk will be in place. And then some of these may linger in a part of the afternoon. So perhaps early mid afternoon will at least have a few kind of lingering in the area. Then eventually they pull away. The winds turn to the north. It starts to get cooler come tomorrow night. And after all the sunshine early Friday, low clouds will start to come in from the north. And with those low clouds, a secondary cold front will be on the move southward. You can see it right here may produce a few little rain and snow showers to snow showers Friday evening and early Friday night. Nothing big though. And then behind that Saturday is just kind of a blustery colder day. Highs only running in the 30s area wide. Now we look ahead to next week though, and we've got a big storm we're watching around Tuesday. You can see right here first some rainfall Monday night. And then once we get into uh, really Tuesday and Wednesday, big storm develops here. This could produce severe weather uh, really from Michigan all the way down to the Gulf Coast and a big snowstorm here in the plains. So uh, based on the latest data regarding shear and the instability that helps us forecast severe weather, you can see really from Michigan, Wisconsin area back towards Texas, this whole zone is kind of primed for some severe weather risk by early next week. So that'll be something we're watching because we'll also have record warmth that may be possible early next week as well. But tomorrow, some scattered showers and storms. Again, some of this may linger in a part of the afternoon. We hit our high, then start to fall in the afternoon a little bit, falling from 55 to 60 to about 45 to 53. Then we look to Friday, a lot of sunshine early, then clouding up and towards evening, there could be a couple rain and snow showers, a high of 45 then starting to fall in the afternoon. Normal high is 40, 36 Saturday. Then there's the big warmth. That's that record warm day on Tuesday. Record 70 set in 1996, forecasting 72, 64, then starting to fall Wednesday. Highs in the 40s and 50s, though, at the end.